Welcome back, everybody, for some more Princes O Russia. Last time we had Varangian Betrayal. And next up, it's gonna time to be to step up our game <laughs> with Volga Steps. Also two swords. We'll have to see how that plays out. Mother, if the Rus were our enemies, why do you treat them as brave warriors and honorable conquerors, said the young Constantine, his eyes set upon mine. Sparkling eyes. Ah, uh, my son, you are young and clever, but you must understand that there is no, there are no eternal enemies nor certain alliances in the politics of kingdoms. The Russians were honorable and chivalrous because of their kindness and honesty to the other principalities and nations, but they did still always act in their own self-interest. But you will understand all this later. I previously mentioned the one and most dangerous enemy of the Rus, Rus was the Khazar Khaganit. Their spectacular cavalry and cunning in battle made them a foe to fear. Even the Arabs, known for their astute strategies and experience in fighting nomads, did not contest their dominion and return south. But, oh boy, Sviatoslav, son of Igor, was an ambitious prince like his father and like his uncle, the blood of stubborn Ornlua wolves. He challenged the two great kingdoms of the east fearlessly, foolishly even, the Khazar Khaganate and the Volga Bulgaria. He knew how to fight against them thanks to his father's tales, spoken experiences, and tactics. Sviatoslav arrived with his Druzhna to the steppes, with little food and little water for supplies, but with battle-thirsty spirit and faith. Both Bulgars and Khazars were dismayed by this hunger for fighting, and the war warriorly enthusiasm and loyalty to their new prince of their neighbors uh, left them ag aghast. It was as if the Rus already predicted victory, and this was a terrifying prospect. Like, I'm sure warrior lily is a, you know, grammatically correct word in, in Russian. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's funny to see, like, certain words and idioms that, like, totally make sense in some languages, but are just, like, really weird in others. Okay, the Volga Steps uh, won't let us sow any fields, but that's another challenge for our great army. Uh, make me proud. I'll make you proud, Pa. Up oh, here are some cows. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. Seems like we have a fairly large map. Here are some sheepers. Okay, so defeat the Khazar Khaganit, capture three Bulgar fortresses by killing their Khans. While Sviatoslav is healthy, you will get food from Russian villages. Capture enemy settlements by killing Khans in these villages. You can don't destroy... I think it's, you shouldn't destroy everything because later they will belong to you. I assume, you know, we kill the Khans and then everything turns to our side. Olga, the mother of Sviatoslav, introduced boyar aristocracy into Russia. Or Rusland. Uh, now you can create boyars. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, no more Norse warriors. We are, we are now Russian. Russians can't sow and cultivate farms in the Volga steppes because of the bad soil and horrid weather. Eh, that didn't stop the Soviets. Kappa. You can capture enemy mills uh, that are named Mills with Supplies that will provide steady income of food. Okay, so it's going to be like uh, Evilo 1 and Tamerlane 3, I think, where we can't build farms, which is kind of unfortunate for Slavs because they kind of need a lot of food. Uh, the Khans of Bulgaria hold fortresses that control the river. When you slay them, the villagers and warriors will surrender without putting up much more of a fight. That's what I thought. Uh, given enough time, your rifles will grow their forces and become more dangerous. Be careful and act as quickly as you can. Okay, we'll try and do that. Because it seems like we have a lot of enemies. And we have a pop uh, limit of 180 and can advance to the Imperial Age. Okay. Okay, so we have arrived in the Volga and Don steppes. And you gotta do the stuff. The local tribes, the Yasi and Kasogs, are located in the territory called Kasakia. I wonder if that's where the word Kasak comes from. Uh, they're weak at the start of the mission, but this is their land, and they'll become more dangerous over time, and they'll make a bunch of stuff. Uh, the Pechenegs have swooped down, and, uh, yeah. I do not know where they will be, but they'll be our enemy. Uh, the Khazars are back, and they are in Circle. And, okay, so it is going to be a big city. And then the Volga Bulgars are the most dangerous enemies, and they have a bunch of fortresses. I think I can see them on the mini map. Yeah. And they are also already in the Imperial Age. So, I mean, we have a pretty big army. Uh, 
I mean, I do want to go for a lot of boyars because, you know, Slavs, fun, boyars, cool unit. Sviatoslav is going to chill at home, though, because I think we need to keep him alive to get tribute or something. And I'm not too sure how much these mills with supplies uh, will generate for us. I can't build farms, though, right? Yeah, no farms. I mean, this doesn't look that scary. I mean, 700 HP is a lot, but not insurmountable with a huge army. You're like vultures without honor. Oh, feels vultures, man. I mean, we already have plus two, plus two. Oh yeah, human team bonus. I mean, can't I just like run in here and kill him? Um, anywhere else I should, like, build a TC? I don't know. How about there? Oh, that works. Wait, that's a farm? Can I keep farms? Wait, 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 hold on. Hold up. Hold up, man. Get Boosal. Oh, I still make priests and not monks. But I do have a castle already. Get wrecked, nerd! Do I have enough stuff to take another one down? Oh wait, are they across? Like, do I have to build ships or something? This map is pretty damn big. I assume I don't have any friends. Nope, no friends. Oh. Oh, here's a mill with supplies. Holy crap, that's a lot of HP. Oh, wait, here's a con. Con! Oh, these guys are only in feudal age, right? Yeah. But can I farm that? Oh, so I get another TC. Another one. Um, I'm not too sure what sort of army I should go for. I kind of want to go for something that's low on food, but, like, all the best units for Slavs are food intensive. Oh, not a fishy fish there. Oh, wait, more farms. Let's see if I can keep those running. I mean, I don't want to, like, go too far ahead of everybody. Oh, I have, like, no one mining gold. LOL! It's not like I have the highest pop limit in the world. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Um, this seems like a good spot for a castle. Near some stone. I don't think there are any other bad guys over here, but I kind of want to make sure. I mean, our villager count's exploding. But in, like, the good way and not the everything's getting bombard cannoned way. <laughs> I can't advance to Imp, so I should be doing that fairly soon. Your father was a good friend, but I see you don't want an alliance with our army. Aww, feels bad, man. 
He totally uh, spurned that guy's friendship. Okay. Here's the deal. Food is going to be really limited. Especially since I need to get a bunch of upgrades still and these forge bushes won't last forever. So I think I'm going to go for a lot of scorpions. I mean, there's like a ton of gold and stone. Like, look at all this stuff. So I think I'm going to go for, like, Boyar Scorpion, even though that sounds like a stupid comp. But I'm just, like, kind of nervous about preserving my, uh, food. Oh! Yeah, I kind of forgot to keep acting quickly. Kind of, yeah, forgot about that. No, don't steal my heritables! I guess do that stuff. Oh, these guys are... No, they're still in Feudal Age. They're cheaters! Charge! Whoa! Hold on. We, let's not be so aggro. Let's get town patrol. There's, there's like a lot of map I haven't explored. It seems like this is our next target. Ooh, lots of food over here. Yeah, so much gold and stone. Well, at least going for Boyar seems like it makes a lot of sense. Ooh, boy! Okay, yeah, they're humans. It says they're Khazars, but they're actually humans. Um, wait, where'd these guys go? Oh my god. Oh, wait, yeah, they're an imp. Um, guess we'll do that, and that, and that. Yeah, already food's looking a little low. Okay, well, we're gonna fend this off, I guess. Okay, those guys are now in Castle Age. Yeah, Heavy Scorpion itself is a lot of food. Didn't I have a scout somewhere? Okay, so that looks... Oh, get you guys to work. Oh, yeah, I don't have any stone income. Oh, wait, here's uh, the city of the Khazars, but whose name I have completely forgotten. Get another castle there. Cheap Slav Siege is going to be nice. Get a few more bills. Actually, do I have a market? Yes, I do. Oh my god, that w that food price, rather. Oh, I just got some from the bank. TY. Or, I guess that's from Olga, I think name of our mom. Let's just see what's over there. Up. Up. Oh. Oh, Gaia sounds. Oh, okay. That's just a regular mill, but it has some food and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, part of me wants to go for halbs, but it's just going to be so much food. 
Oh, wait, more food. Ah, uh, maybe, I don't know. Like, there's still a bunch of upgrades I need to get. Because we have a lot of map to conquer. But yeah, I feel like we should probably go deal with purple since they're like, well, right here. Duh. Also, maybe I should buy some food, even if it is super expensive. Oh my god. That that just hurt. Just hurt a lot, man. Get heavy scorp. Askatova. Need to get siege engineers as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. Um. Get that one. Oh, no. Now there go some villagers. Um, I mean, they were right. Maybe we didn't even act quickly enough. I mean, I, I started going pretty quick, and then I just kind of slowed down. Scorpions are going to be really important for range support. Because otherwise, I don't have any. Oh my god, that's so expensive. I mean, our pop isn't really looking all that great. TBH. Killing those castles is nice. Okay, yeah, I like the Scorp idea. I'm also liking the uh, us not really spending a ton of food idea as well. Okay, I kind of want to rebuild this castle over here. We can probably tread that from across the river, actually. Maybe that was a, that would have been a better idea from the onset. Uh, yeah, go deal with that. Okay, there's lots of gold there, but this this attack kind of fell flat on its face. Let's do that. Is everyone in Imp? No, the Pechenegs and Kasakia are still in Castle Age. But uh, let's try and tread that guy. Never mind, Kasak Kasakia is now in Imperial Age. Wonderful. Oh, they're trebbing from across the river. That is, uh, well, can't deal with that. And their galleons are just going to kill my trebuchet. Great. Just peachy. Um, hopefully the scorpions are going to do enough work here. I mean, they're they're doing stuff. Whether it's enough stuff, I'm not too sure. Okay. 
Good thing that there's a lot of stone on this map. Because we are losing lots of castles. Nevertheless, we're still kind of getting places. Oh, yeah. I should get hoardings. I mean, yeah, this, the Scorps are going to be great. Oh, I guess I would get that castle if I just sniped the Khan, but I can't really cross the river yet. Go over here. Our pop is still rather disconcertingly low. Okay, let's, I guess, make another go for purple. Now our gold's actually not looking so hot. Okay, well, I destroyed the castle. Losing that, like, I guess, potential future castle doesn't really bother me since there's still so much stone left to take. Actually, how much of this city is there left? There's, like, water right there. Oh, good gravy. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That is a not insignificant amount of stuff. Playing with fire, selling food, but it's just so much value. Let's actually get more bills. Is this a... Oh, that one is a mill with supplies. It has like a bajillion HP. I've actually already done 6,000 damage to it. Oh, wait, there's a bridge. Oh, it looks like they have stuff. Okay, how's defending over here? Eh? Oh, those are onagers. Also, now we're starting to get some lag. That's not great. Oh, there's that. Okay, so there's not that much stuff over here. Cheap Slav Siege is always nice. Right? Looks like we got most of the stuff over here. Maybe start trying to push this way? Da. Okay, that's some useful food. Considering our income for it is rather low. Okay, that's a lot of siege rams. Oh. Yeah, so much stone, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if I should have just gone this way earlier, when yellow is still in, like, castle age or something. Oh yeah, now they have halbs. Well, I mean, they're Tatar halbs, but still. Yeah, I probably should have gone after these guys a lot sooner. But now the lag. Oh, wait, they have even more stuff? Oh, my goodness.
Oh, I can't make fish traps. That's unfortunate. Cons! Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, let's kill the frickin' Khan. Whoa, 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 those are the Pechen eggs. Where are they coming from? Axum. them! Alright, I get this stuff. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, there's more purple stuff down that way. Oh, God. And now I have no food. This sucks. Yeah, our income is kind of grinding to a standstill. Oof. Oh, I never finished that. <laughs> oh, that's a big old army. Just group everyone up, send them over. Get some more workshops. Yeah, that's a lot of boy R. Those are fully upgraded elite Kashix. Oh, I can build docks. Let's build one right there, that's for sure. Yeah, still much, so much more stone, and even gold to mine. Should really get more villagers. Yeah, sure, just send him over. More food income, please. Also, let's get gill nuts. Hey, where'd my boy eyes go? Oh, they're over here. Oh, that's not great. Oh, I'll take it. Because then I can convert a lot of it into gold. No way in hell I can afford Trujano right now. Oh boy, this is going to be quite the slugfest. Wait, I heard Gaia sounds. Oh yeah, all the way down over here. Oh, that's where yellow is. Well, I don't need to defeat yellow. Yeah. 
Oh man, my army numbers are looking a little low. Oh my god, they're they have a huge ass army. Um Okay, well I'm gonna have like a ton of golden come. Okay, I think I can recuperate my losses. Maybe I can even snag Druzhina. Any more food? Some stone, I guess. Okay. There is a river crossing, so I don't need a transport over like in the last scenario, which is nice. Let's see if we can get get Druzhina. Um Yikes. Wait, what? Is there like a random ass trebuchet that's like destroying this mining camp? Yep. Oh, of course there is. Oh, of course there is. Perfect! 10 out of 10 location. Oh, yeah, Druzhina. Whoops. I forgot about you. Maybe we can snipe some of these stables? I don't know. Oh! We have Rangi in training still! I guess that makes sense since we haven't adopted Orthodoxy yet. Yeah, I'd love to get some extra HP on my Halbs. Thank you very much. Oh my god, that's so much gold down the drain. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, food income's looking a little rough right now. Sixty-four wood, sixty-four gold per scorpion is very nice. Yeah, forty gold miners. Oh, that is very much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, we have pretty much full upgrades. We just need to get back to having a good army. I actually need more workshops. Just Slav things. Well, at least they don't have Siege Onager yet, you know, silver lining. You know what? You just go big chill in this castle here. Yeah, 85 HP halves. Feels good, man. Oh, 
There we go. This is the amount of scorpions I was wanting. Yeah, still plenty more resources to take. Go get him! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, that's a lot of stables there. Maybe we can start sniping them? I'm running out of gold over there. Damn, I thought I did, uh, like, a lot of damage to them. Or, like, you know, mostly defeated them. They still even have a castle somewhere. Even the stone cell price is pretty lousy. This way. Yeah, this food source is going to be running dry soon. Okay, well, we got most, if not all, of the stables. I don't know if they rebuild them, though. That's actually a, pot a potential possibility. Well, that's a lot of siege rams coming at them. And it doesn't really seem like they have anything to deal with that, other than their own siege rams. Try and get that over there. Need to stamp out the rest of their uh, their forces wherever the hell they are. Oh, there's yellow again. This is going to be a long-ass video, I, I can feel it. Start dropping more castles. Okay, they have more stuff over that way. Oh, it probably goes all the way to the coast here. Well, I got tons of stone, so we'll just keep dropping castles. Okay, let's keep going that way. There isn't anything down this way. 
Аз готова. I mean, we are close to max pop. That's something. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have to just delete these guys once they're out of fish, because can't make fish traps. Oh, that's a lot of vitals. I don't know, chop trees. Okay. At least they're only stone walls, right? Okay, how much is actually over here? It seems like there's actually a lot. Oh, that's not good. Okay, they actually have a decently sized navy. Oh wait, it's blue. Enemy leaders. Take me to your leader. I don't see him. It's probably in the castle. Okay, but it looks like this is going to be the last of purple. Okay, they are rebuilding more stables. That's kind of annoying. Stop it. Okay, um... Let's get a lot more of those. Oh, I have like no more food left. Maybe if I destroy this castle, they're gonna resign? Have I been a good wolf? Maybe I have to, maybe I have to destroy the docks as well. Ow, finish for the rest of these freaking buildings. How do I get control of these mills? But I don't see any cons, and I've already pretty much destroyed everything. <laughs> like, I, I literally don't see what purple has left. Other than some galleons. Okay, oh no, let's get another castle up over there. I guess that's Yellow's dock. Maybe I do need to destroy um, their navy. Oh wow, my villager count has plummeted. But there's just so much land to take on this map. Well, 
Okay, let's just go this way. Now, I'll give this another few minutes, and then we'll have to make this a two-parter. Because I don't see us getting to Bulgaria anytime soon. Or Volga Bulgaria, rather. Maybe I should just make some trebs here. Just try and snipe the castle or something? I don't know. That's a huge-ass army. Oh my goodness. 321 gold for 100 food. Wait, there's, there's some forage bushes over here! Oh my god, there, there's actually a fair amount of berries to take. That's a little tilting. Well. Um, guess I'll make another treb. Our pop is not looking so hot. Oh. But, I mean, purple is essentially dead. Let's get some... Or, no, no. And get that over here. I mean, I think I... Oh, never mind. There's another wave of them. Oh, wait, there's lots of food over here. Okay, there aren't many things that deal melee damage, so maybe I can snipe the castle? Get another TC up over there. Never mind. There's plenty of stuff that deals melee damage. Crap. And we're even running low on gold income. Okay, anything th this way? Also, two swords in my ass. This is freaking hard. Oh, there's 700 food. I'll take it. Screw it. At least sell some stone, even if it's not worth that much. Oh, hey! I think I did just need to destroy those ships. Okay, well, I suppose this is as good a place to stop as any. So this is what? Scenario 4? Something about the Volga steps? We'll, uh, we'll complete the scenario next time.
yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys then.